Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my fellow beautiful Cancers out there. Um, I just want to thank you guys for all the love and support you guys show this channel. You guys are awesome. You guys are my inspiration. All the work that you do um, just has such a profound effect, not only on me, but on the collective. Um, you guys are strength. You're the embodiment of, you know, the strength that we need on this journey. So um, I'm going to be doing your October 2020 love reading. On the left-hand side, I'm going to read your energy. On the right, I'm going to read the energy of the person that you're connected to romantically, energetically. Now, I'm going to urge that you guys play with time. This could be a relationship in the past that's currently affecting you. It could be a relationship, you know, a recent one. It could be one that you're currently in or something moving towards you in October 2020. Now, before I get started, I just want to let you know if you want a private reading or other other ways that you can support this channel all that information is in the description box down below also if you like the decks that i'm using i have those linked and listed in order of appearance okay so um before i get on with it just drop me a like a subscribe to the um Drop me a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, comment and share if that's something you like to do. So let's go ahead and invite spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, spirit guides, ascended masters um, to this space to deliver the messages for my dearest cancers regarding love October 2020. Cancers, I'm feeling good. We've had some very intense readings. Um, I suggest you check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs or any placement for a more complete picture. But the intensity is really coming through here in these readings. So, Cancer, you guys are showing up as the Eight of Cups in reverse. Your person, Ace of Swords, hmm, a little confused, a little stuck feeling in the relationship, Nine of Swords in reverse. All right, Cancers, you guys are really in your head about something, about moving on from a certain connection. All right, you see your person as the Ace of Wands in reverse. There may be no passion left between you is what you're feeling, but you feel committed to this situation for one reason or the other. You see your person as the Knight of Wands in reverse. Cancer, you don't trust your person anymore. And that has affected your physical, your intimacy, because you don't trust that you're the only one. And you see the relationship as the chariot strengths nine of cups in reverse weaknesses ten of cups what is going on here cancer okay all right overall energy is the strength card some of you guys have leo in your chart you might be cancer leo cuspers um some of you might be linked to a leo Judgment. Some of you guys are married. Some of you guys are trying to take this relationship to the next level. But I'm feeling like there are some considerable blocks here, Cancer. Okay. So the Eight of Cups energy in reverse takes us to the Seven of Cups. Cancer, you might have a lot of options. Um, you might be trying to walk away from this connection, but you're not sure how to do it. You're feeling really confused or maybe you just don't. Maybe you're feeling like there's nothing better out there for you or something along those lines. It's not a really great energy though, because you're seeing your person as the ace of swords. You're seeing as you're seeing your person as not really going anywhere. You're not clear about how you feel. Some of you guys might've been in this situation for quite some time. And, um, you know, and you just see the relationship as stuck. I mean, you see, I have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. It's like there's no passion in this relationship. You don't see things moving forward, but for some reason you're not walking away. You're feeling confused. Um, you have that Seven of Cups energy. There's some sort of disillusionment. Maybe some of you feel like you can't walk away or you're obligated to this person for one reason or the other. Again, you might be married. Okay, with the Ten of Cups, you very well might have children together. That might be your sense of obligation. But it's like, Cancer, I feel like there's nothing, there's nothing left here for you. It's like it's not moving in any direction and you're feeling really stuck. 
you know, I feel like you guys don't, there's no intimacy in your relationship. Again, you might have children and you guys might be sort of like living as best friends, which is fine. And it's beautiful to preserve family, but I feel like you're really, really in your head. It creates a lot of anxiety. I feel like it's done a number on your self-esteem or being in this energy for, for quite so long, being confused. You know, Seven of Cups is confusion. Ace of Swords is confusion. Eight of Swords is like worst case scenario thinking. Like Cancer, you're really in your head about this. I think you're really conflicted because many of you guys might have children together or you might share a lot of assets or maybe you don't believe in divorce or you thought this was your ever after and your ego isn't allowing you. Maybe you thought this was your twin. But for some reason, Cancer, you are in your head. You are worst case scenario. You think you can't make it out there on your own. Um, you might be financially dependent on this person or just emotionally, you know, for I'm picking up this is this is not a short term relationship because you've been in this pattern for quite some time. Nine of swords. This is like dark night of the soul. This is anxiety. But when it's in the reverse, it takes us to the eight of swords. It's like drama. It's it's like I can't do it. I don't know what to do. I'm not happy. It's really low vibrational stuff. But you do have the ten of cups. But this is showing up in your weaknesses. Some of you are afraid to follow what makes you truly happy. Some of you are really truly afraid to walk away from this commitment or this relationship. Some of you might be worried that you might not be able to see your children if you do. Some of you um, might be wor are worried too much. Like you don't trust that you can do it on your own. That's why the strength card is coming out. Inner strength. You have it. But you've somehow been led to believe or believe yourself that you're not worth it or you can't do it. Ooh, Cancer, I don't like this because this is draining you. This is draining you. You want to walk away. All right, you see your person as the Ace of Wands. You might be dealing with a fire sign. It's in reverse. All right, you may have felt like this was a divine connection. And I think some of us are in our ego about admitting that we were wrong. You know, some of you may think this is your twin. It's not. Some of you guys thought this was your happily ever after. And it's a really hard time telling friends and family or even yourself that, you know what? It's not working. You see your person as the Knight of Wands in reverse. You see them as a player. You see them as, you know, you might have been really attracted to them physically and you might have overlooked the fact that they didn't have social graces or they couldn't carry on, you know, the conversa types of conversations that you like to have. You know, um, maybe, you know, maybe they're very impulsive. There are things that you just don't respect about them, Cancer. I know that sounds horrible, but this Knight of Wands energy, you know, you might even feel like they're stepping out on you. And that's why, you know, this person, or maybe they feel like you're stepping out on them. And this person, there's like no intimacy here. It's like a no-go. No-go. Don't even think about it. Knight of Wands. Because they, the way that they see you is not moving forward either. Or not, you know, the Knight of Wands makes a lot of promises. And in the upright, he's charismatic, he trusts himself, he has a lot of confidence. I'm picking up confidence being a really big issue here. Something that's happened here, Cancer. Maybe some of you guys have even had children and you're uh, you're just like, you might be going through postpartum depression. You might not be feeling confident about your body. You might not be feeling confident about getting back into the workforce. And this person, your person might be seeing you as feeling stuck. I know this is not what you guys want to hear. I mean, trigger warnings, right? but I have to tell it like it is. This person sees you as not following through, either on your vows, on your commitment, at work, maybe even, you know, maybe there's a lot of, yeah, you know, I don't feel good about the way I look, I'm gonna go to the gym, but not being consistent, okay? And this Ace of Wands energy is like, this person is dimming their light, or their light has been dimmed. Feel free to swap, swap the energies, but they see this relationship cancer as successful this is weird this is a really weird energy they see this relationship as successful even though within each of you it's not it's like you're not happy you're you're anxious you're depressed you're like you know you're all out of sorts and they're like they've they've dimmed their light their light has been dimmed for whatever reason but they see this relationship as successful because i think it looks good on paper I think it's what everybody thinks this commitment should be like. 
Um, you know, it's what the friends and family think looks good. Yeah, because this is, you know, the weaknesses here is family, is happiness. You're not happy. So I'm trying to understand why are these two people in this situation? If this person, Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords, Eight of Cups, wanting to walk away but not being able to, this person having like no desire to really be in this commitment but feeling like it's successful because maybe you guys do have children together. It looks good on paper. It's what you're supposed to do. It's what everybody sort of yearns for but it's just not fulfilling. So there's a real need here to follow your light, to follow your happiness. Strengths, Nine of Cups in reverse, takes us back to the Eight of Cups. Someone here needs to walk away, or both of you. But it's like there's so much ego here. There's a lot of ego involved. I know you guys aren't going to like this reading. And I'm sorry, Cancer. But the Nine of Cups in reverse is, you know, wish fulfillment. But, you know, I think, I think there was a point in time where this was amazing. And it may have been in the beginning or when you guys had children, when you were raising children. You know, you guys are of a lot of different ages. Some of you, you might have your children are already grown. Some of you might have young children. Okay, or you guys maybe have built a business together or this life together, but you're realizing that you're not aligned, that you're moving in two different directions. And the Nine of Cups is like, you know, it wasn't perfect, but, it, you know, this looked like my happily ever after. This is what I believed. But it's not. It's not bringing you happiness. I told you, all of these readings October have been... Like a trigger warnings for all of them. Intense, but that's the nature of what's going on right now, you guys, especially with Mars and Aries going retrograde. We are having a massive overhaul of that solar plexus and how the masculine is going through this transformation, this death process. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised, but I am. All right, Cancer, Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you want to start something new. You want wish fulfillment. You want happiness. But for some reason, you're not walking away. You're still confused either about what it is. Um, and again, the sense of obligation that you have to whatever this thing that looks good on paper is. Your person, the way you see your person, umbrella. Yeah. So you're confused. I think you, you, your person especially if you guys have children together, you see them as them like really taking care of the family. You really respect that. Um, they might provide financial stability. They might even provide emotional support. I mean, you guys might be like really, really like best friends, but I feel like there's no passion left in this relationship. Somebody might look outside of the connection to, you know, to, for that passion. Okay, but you're, but I feel like, you know, you're confused, you feel like it's stuck, but they offer you that protection. They maybe, you know, again, whether it comes in the form of financial stability, emotional support, okay, they might have really been there, they might have bailed you out a few times, um, they might have really been there for you, you know, when you experienced, you know, upheaval or traumas or death in the family, things like that. Okay, but this connection brings you worry, um, strife. Yeah, it's like the, this this comb card is the epitome of keeping up appearances. So I feel like you guys are keeping up appearances, but neither one of you are happy. All right, let's take a look at your person. Again, Cancer, this may not be for everyone. It may be a past connection that you're still healing and clearing. Okay, it may be an energy that's moving towards you. All right, so don't... You know, I'm getting with this Knight of Wands that, you know, they're telling me don't be impulsive. Don't jump into something and ignore, you know, some of the red flags because the way your person or you, one of you, there might be a lot of, you know, physical attraction, but, you know, sex isn't what keeps a long-term relationship alive. And there has to be those other components in order for a relationship to go the distance in order to be sexually attracted to each other. If there's nothing else, the sex will go away and the relationship is kaput, right? But if you guys stimulate each other men mentally, you know, physically, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you know, then, you know, sexual relationships within a long-term relationship are healthier. All right, so, yeah, Bell's announcements. 
Yeah, I feel like, you know, I feel like this does have to do with a wedding. You know, we get the wedding bells, announcements. I think people, I think there needs to be some very clear communication between the two of you about whatever this stagnancy is, whatever these appearances you're keeping up. Yeah, horseshoe. I think, um, you know, the way your person sees you, or again, feel free to swap the energies, is that you just have like a lot of blind luck or a lot of dumb luck, um, that you're very impulsive. Um, they might feel like you are sort of charismatic and happy, but I, I feel like there there's something here that almost is resentful about not planning. Like, I feel like your person, you know, is probably really hardworking, maybe more meticulous, um, or vice versa, and that they, you feel like you get things, um, many of you probably work with law of attraction, so they might not quite understand how you attract, you know, good fortune, um, and happiness into your life, but I feel like there's a little bit of resentment here, um, you know, and they feel like, you know, maybe that you're, I don't know, this is horrible to say, but that like, there's, they, they see you as not refined, you know, the Knight of Wands in reverse is like somebody who, you know, has this great body, you know, um, has this great body, maybe even dresses well, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, they can't carry on a conversation. Um, maybe you guys have, you know, very different friends, um, different interests. And it's, it's a little bit of a boorish energy. You know, again, you might be with somebody who really loves like the city, the urban life, and you might really love like the outdoors. And I'm seeing there's this disconnect, like this, this fundamental disconnect in your guys' personalities and approach to the world. Okay, but they see it as successful. Yeah. They see this relationship with the fish. The fish is, you know, 38 breaking down to an 11, which brings balance. Um, they see this as successful because I think, you know, maybe people thought this relationship would never work. Okay. And so it might be like that ego saying, yes, it will. It can, you know, I'm in a committed relationship. You know, we're in this through thick or thin, um, you know, but you know, this, the negatives of this fish card can be about sinking, about drowning. And I really feel like cancer, it's you who's really drowning in this connection. Um, but you know, I also get with the chariot card, they see this as successful on paper, even if you're keeping up appearances. And this is about abundance and money. You know, want, you know, you guys might bring abundance to the table. I mean, it might be that they are financially dependent on you, Cancer. Okay, but somehow they see this. Or maybe in the public eye or what have you. You know, they have more status because they're quite simply married. Um, that really is important to them. You know, like I'm, you know, I'm married. I have children. Okay, they feel like they get respect because of that. All right, but it's it's appearances, Cancer. This is intense, you guys. All right, Nine of Cups. Yeah. You get the skull. You get the skull. I mean, the Nine of Cups, it's like, it's it was your wish fulfillment. You're not getting what you want. And it's like, it's this graveyard is what I'm feeling like. I feel like... I do feel like there's love. I feel like there's maybe even friendship between you, but it's not what you want. It's not what you need. And more information on this Ten of Cups. We get the clock. Yeah, 33 is the master teacher number. But it's like, I, I feel like this, the message here, Cancer, is the time is now. You know, it's like, I feel like you guys have, again, this is a relationship. This is not a new relationship. I feel like you want something new. But, you know, I think that because you guys have been through so much together, I think there's love and respect to a degree, like on a level of friendship. But I feel like both of you are not getting your needs met and somebody needs to step up and talk about it. Or... You know, this is the nine of swords in reverse, eight of swords. I mean, that's just like, it's so anxious. 
don't think you're doing each other any favors is what I'm seeing here. Entrapment, 34. Some of you guys feel stuck. Some of you may feel like this person said they were with child or purposefully got you pregnant. I know that sounds so terrible, but you guys feel stuck. Or maybe you feel like this person, you know, you guys had like a short-lived relationship and you decided to sort of do the right thing, you know, and get married and have a go at it, you know, and you've been through so much, but I feel like, yeah, you're feeling stuck. Pay attention to the signs. Yeah. How teachable popped out. This is about karmic lessons, learning lessons. And I, I feel like many of you are going through a very sort of dark period here or have temptation. Yep, right on top. You know, we get this Knight of Wands energy and this magnetic. It's like, I definitely feel like, you know, that you guys aren't getting what you need within this relationship or your person and they're looking outside of the connection. Okay, and if they're not, you know, with the Nine of Cups in reverse, it doesn't necessarily have to be another person. You might notice this person is drinking a lot more. You might notice this person is gambling, you know, whatever they're doing, because somehow they're not speaking up and saying what they need or that their needs aren't being fulfilled or vice versa. And you get inner child, number 16. You get 16 coming out twice. All right, you get seven. So you get 16, 16. That might be an important number for you guys. Um, 34 breaks down to a seven as well. Um, you know, and we get the eight of cups in reverse, taking us back to the seven of cups. 77 or 777 is a number that spirit and your guides will be communicating with you over this next sort of couple of weeks. Um, but it's also about angelic support. It's the path of the mystic. It's about spirituality. And I think as you guys are moving along on this spiritual journey, situations either that you've been involved with for quite some time or that you're currently in or that are still affecting you, um, you're going to realize that you can no longer be in a situation where you're not walking your light or working your light or seeding your light where you're not happy. Now, it doesn't mean that everything has to be perfect, Cancer. Nobody's perfect. No relationship is perfect. But the importance of speaking your mind and the importance of really understanding, you know, what is it we're doing here? Because most likely if you're unhappy, your person, there's no way your person is on, is, is completely happy either, you know? And so it's either figuring it out, having that conversation or getting out of prison. I mean, this is, and this prison I think is, you know, ex expectations, doing the right thing, doing what you're supposed to do. But now you're feeling stuck. You know, the signs have always been there, but it's like you, you, it's like, it's like somebody here was ignoring what truly makes them happy, you know, thinking it would go away. Okay. Again, some people may turn to drink. Some of you may turn to gambling, not you. It may be your person. Okay. This is an intense reading cancer. Okay. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Yeah. And for some of you, this is love of self moving away from a connection where there's nothing is left worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens some of you guys may not have had a lot of time again i'm picking up on this being very specific but some of you guys might have had a rushed marriage due to a pregnancy all right, and you guys didn't take the time to get to know each other before you went in on this major commitment, getting married, right, and having children. And some of you guys are realizing that it's it doesn't align with who you truly are. Yeah, and we get engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And I feel like each step of the way, you were like, yeah, this is what I'm supposed to do. This is what I'm supposed to do. But, you know, this eight of cups energy, you know, I feel like 
I feel like you've put in the time, you've put in the energy, you've been asking, you know, for guidance, for help, trying to figure out how to fix this situation. Okay. And I'm just getting that, you know, making that you've made the effort that at getting to know each other again, you know, you, this is your bond deepens. I think you guys, I don't think there's rancor or hate between you guys at all is what I'm picking up on. Um, but I think with the clock coming out cancer, it's like, it's time. It's time to do what makes you happy. All right. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. I mean, if that doesn't sum up this reading, I don't know what does. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do or what you think others think you should do, because I feel like that's a lot of what's happened here. And a lot of the reason why you're going back and forth about, you know, expressing what makes you what you need what makes you happy and what 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 you want to do deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life yeah you guys are in that nine of swords and reverse energy imagine all of that dissolving you have the choice to make this nine of swords energy go away And it's about your focus. Where is your focus? It's about really taking control of your happiness here, Cancer. It's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Yeah, and it's also about blame. It's like not no longer shifting blame to another person. Not saying, you know, I'm stuck in this prison. This person has, has trapped me. No, it's about... What can I do to be happy? It's about making the effort. It's about being patient and waiting. It's about really getting to know what makes you happy. And you're going to see this, everything falls into place. But it's going to take a lot of courage, Cancer. It's going to take really releasing your inner demons and taming them. And this is dark night of the soul type stuff. And seeing where you come out on the other side. This is a very intense reading, Cancer. I love you guys. I thank you for listening. Um, you know, I might do, a, you know, I might do an extra reading for those of you that aren't in this situation um, for my dear Cancers. Because I know this isn't for everyone, but this is intense. Okay, some intense stuff here. All right, I love you guys. Thank you for listening. Have a beautiful day.